Hello friends, welcome back to Sale3D Pro Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I am going to show you how to design your vertical profile for the flyovers. We are going to see uh, what are the things you need to keep in mind uh, before designing your vertical profile and how we can do this uh, in Civil 3D using the course or the design speed. So, uh, as you can see, here I have uh, one main road and the cross road and uh, here I have a junction. So, I am uh, planning to design my flyover over this junction. So, what are the things I need to keep in mind first? First thing that you need to keep in mind that uh, you need to apply clearance over here so the traffic can pass and what is the minimum requirement for that clearance so if we see here uh, is one of the bridge cross section and this things from here to here is called clearance or headway so uh, if you go with your design course or uh, your country course you can see that uh, every country has given some minimum requirement for this that you need to uh, follow uh, must follow and uh, generally it's around 5.5 meter but you should check your country code so we have to keep our fly over uh, vertical profile minimum 5.5 but that's uh, not that all we also need to keep this structure depth in mind so our vertical profile will be on top of here so we need to keep this 5.5 meter plus the structure depth to get our uh, vertical elevation here so the structural depth uh, will be very depending on your structure type and the span length uh, generally you have to ask your bridge design engineer for that but it's uh, in your hand to design those spans arrangement and everything depending on your cross section of the road and safety procedures and the constraint so you are the one who decide the span length and then you need to give that data to your bridge engineer and the bridge engineer calculate the structure that based on the span length so here I have given that my span length is 50 uh, you can see I would just uh, draw to circle over which I am assuming my span and uh, so it gives the clear uh, mm, side distance or uh, uh, to my all the arms so vehicle can easily pass and it will be safe uh, to keep the pierce uh, away from the traffic junction so uh, you can go with the 30 20 but depending on what your requirement what your site requirements uh, for this case I'll just assuming 50 meter so for 50 meter uh, the typical the structure that would be around 2 and 2.5 between 2 to 2.5 meter depending on the structure type, uh, structure type you need to confirm that with your bridge engineer so I have to maintain 5.5 plus 2.5 meter total 8 meter plus uh, minimum 70 to 130 mm uh, my payment on the top well that also vary uh, I mean as per your code provision so I'll assume that 70 mm is my payment on the top so 70 mm that 2.5 meter here 5.5 I have to keep 8.5 uh, 0 07 nearly or I can assume 8.1 meter clearance at this points between my uh, where the traffic will flow or between my two spans so these things you need to keep in mind first thing next thing you need to keep in mind what will be your ramp uh, slope generally in rural area we follow 1 in 50 or 1 in 40 as there was uh, there were no or very little side constraints and uh, due to the heavy traffic it will be uh, very benefit to provide a smooth grade but in urban area due to the constraint of uh, 
sides and the location uh, sides and availability of space we can go for one in 30 uh, generally ramps are designed for one in 20 so you can go up to one in 20 as well or in hilly area we go up to the one in 15 so you have to decide your ramp slope depending on your site situation constraint and so these are the two things you need to keep in mind your uh, ramp slope and your higher requires clearance so let's see how we can draw now the profile uh, in civil 3d using those keeping those things in mind so here i have uh, my ground profile for this alignment and uh, now if i have to start drawing my profile the first thing i need to know where is my center point or the center line so you can do this either two way once you select your profile view and you can see over here it's a station tracker you go to the station tracker and click all viewport now if you roll your cursor you can see some reference line showing in my plan so in this way you can get your center line you need to have a two viewport for that and another way what you can do you put some points and reference in the into profile to get the exit point uh, for the your uh, junction so what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to create some points so here my point tabs if it's not open you can go from here point and I create point from surface random points and I right click select my surface click ok and click three points and click enter again click one more point and one more point so I'm keeping my vertical profile at least 8.1 meter between these points and now I reference these points in my profile view to see where exactly my junctions so I go to select project object to profile view and I select all my three points first, second and third and I hit enter and ok so you can see over here that all three reference points has come so now I get to know this is my center point and this is my uh, span length total now I start designing my vertical curve so I go to profile and I choose option create profile from layout uh, it gives you ask you to select alignment and if you want to give any name particularly you can give you can select your style you can select your label style and you can see over here there's another tab design criteria so you need to choose use design criteria use design criteria file and from here you need to choose your country design criteria well I have loaded the country gate so I'm getting so many options if you do not load the country gate it wouldn't show so better you load your own country kit and I select Autodesk Indian Metric Road Design Standard I click open and you can see that it's showing my design standard ISESP 23 which is a vertical design standard for Indian codes so I select OK the next thing what I need to keep in mind that I have to give some uh, speed design speed to my alignment then only it can calculate so what I do I select my alignment and go to alignment property and you can see over here it's a 60 uh, if it is not there you can add from here you can click on this green and you can add your speed and you can decide what speed you need to keep I'll just keep uh, 50 kmph only and again I just check that all these ticks are there use criteria design and the, my correct file will be loaded so it's all done it's already loaded correct file and I hit ok and apply so now I given my design speed is 50 for this
I think you need to check. I go again checking metric road open apply okay. Yes. So now I start uh, with the profile designing. So I go with this uh, option draw tangent. So first I just randomly draw some tangents. So I click here and here and then up to here points this point and then again ramp and then touch to the ground so I kept four PI points and now I start uh, finalizing my profile so first thing I do I need to maintain 8 meter 8.1 meter so I'll go in my profile band uh, you can see I have here profile band de uh, depth which can show me the level difference so I can identify whether it's 8.1 meter, meter or not I'll just go here and select my design profile and this is my existing ground I click apply click ok and you can see here that I have currently 6.2 meter height so I need to maintain 8 meter so from this point I need to maintain 8 meter so I'll go to the profile and you can see this chain is 492 so what I'll do I'll just round up this chain it to 490 and I'll just read this point from this table to 1.7.650 and see how it's the level difference. So it's 8.3 meter. I just need 8.1. So I'll just down this to another 450. And now it is around 8.1. Then I give 0.5% grade just for the drainage requirement. So 0.85, it will be 5. You can give 1 PI point here, draw some curve, uh, whatever depend on your requirement so I just maintain 0.5 percent and for the ramp I'll give here 3.3 percent 1 in 30 and here also 1 in 30 minus and now I to just uh, ch change my PI points and yep something like that I just adjust my PA points so I'm getting 0.5 percent 1 in 30 my clearance uh, same thing over here just adjust the PA points and just keeping to have minimum grade of 0.5 so this is how you decide your PI points you can still do some R&D right now it's like uh, points are very far from the points and uh, you can change always because like the flyover is very uh, uh, very expensive uh, I mean you need to do the economical design so like this ramps <coughs> if you do uh, very a good design like keep this 8.1 and keep this point here and design that you can reduce your uh, ramp length and that can uh, save you cost so you need to go in more detail and do those settings I just uh, do the setting for this then I go and start applying costs so I select this I go to option over here and select my free vertical curve parabola and I just start giving cause and it asking me specific, uh, specify curve length so it's as per design code it's already give that you need minimum 23 meter I'll just give 30 same way over here and I'll just give this asking 31 minimum I'll give 40 just round up Similarly, I apply curve over here 
and I'll select again this three parabola and select for sign ID and the next sign ID and ask a range 30 and similar the other sec call and 30 now once you design your curve you go and check your table and you can see I can see some uh, notification over here that something is wrong with the design so let's check what is that uh, here you can see that your course give you uh, stopping side distance passing side distance and headlight side distance for that uh, particular speed so <coughs> here you can say I am already satisfying my sto uh, stopping side distance 8.2 8.2 and I have given the value k 10.6 whereas if I need to satisfy passing side distance also that I need to give the k value to 15 but that is depend on what is your side uh, conditions you can either go with the SSD or you can go with the passing side distance as per your uh, availability uh, of land so I keep that and uh, here you can also see that it's 11 so I am meeting that also so in this way you can do your design as per your core provisions and to finalize the design of your um, flower thank you Thank you for watching this.